What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Western Wednesdays, your favorite shoe reviewer. Today, we are taking a closer look at the Nike Force Zoom Trout 7 turf shoe. For those of you that don't really know too much about turf shoes, they're basically training shoes with a different outsole, okay? And I'll explain that here in a second. Like I said, these shoes are turf shoes. Now, basically, the, the whole premise of a turf shoe, back in the day when AstroTurf was a big thing for football and even baseball fields and the pros, most people, they can't wear cleats on those shoes because it tears up the turf and then it would tear up their knees or ankles. So they created this outsole with these nubs that was in between the size of cleats and regular sneakers, okay? So this turf outsole provided that traction that they would need without having to wear cleats, okay? So really cool concept, but that's kind of the history of where they came up with the turf style shoes. The outsole is rubber, all right? And like I said, these grooves, uh, teeth, nubs that's basically the the idea of turf traction okay but it's still rubber outsole and they're just really you know like i said they're almost like miniature cleats okay so it provides that traction that you would need on any type of field uh nowadays it's field turf so you have a black upper okay and then a translucent lower uh, underneath the heel that shows through the zoom unit in the heel which i'll talk about in a second and then you have a midsole foam uh, from toe to heel, okay, so that's really nice and then you can see the break in between the, the forefoot and the heel traction All right to just eliminate some weight too uh, on, on the bottom part now as we move up like I said and I mentioned from toe to heel There's a foam midsole. It's white as you can tell there's a uh, You know some patterns on this shoe But the really cool spot and the cool uh, feature of this shoe is underneath the heel and it's a revolutionary air zoom unit At least that's what they're calling it on Nike the whole concept is this larger unit, uh, air unit, zoom, with a smaller unit inside the bigger unit. I know it's pretty hard to explain, but the whole concept is the, the unit that's smaller, uh, it's more springy, and it's precise as far as where you're actually using that, and you can feel the, the springiness to it, but then the zoom unit around that just provides for more surface area, you know, for a you know, smaller version of that zoom unit, which is cool. I like how it feels underfoot. I'm a zoom, uh, zoom guy, I like that. I uh, have my basketball shoes and stuff like that, but I can feel this underfoot along with the foam from, like I said, heel to toe. Basically, it's gonna feel like a training shoe. You can use this for any type of training that you want. You're gonna have some extra traction on the bottom which is really nice too, okay? So now as we move up on the upper, there's a mixture of different uppers, but I do wanna talk about, which is really cool, this rubber, thin rubber, TPU layer on the uh, lateral side. It's translucent, uh, you can see the Nike sign underneath it, but you can see the color differentiation from that to the, the materials, but that's gonna add a little bit of containment um, and stability with this shoe, which you need, uh, while it's still pretty lightweight, and there's not a really thick uh, rubber to make you know make the shoe heavy now they also added that on the heel as a heel cup and containment there as well with some cool design and layered uh, look which is really neat and that's translucent as well so you can see through the red zoom unit in the heel really nice now the materials just the, you know mesh uh, upper predominantly mesh 90% mesh but on the instep of the toe box they have a layered used overlay which is going to add durability now if anybody knows these turf shoes they're trout turf shoes for baseball your back leg when you're swinging taking batting practice or anything like that it drags okay so if they didn't have this overlay this shoe would tear pretty quick all right so that's really cool not not only is it functional but it actually adds a really cool design they're a little round circle you can see that they're raised as we do a close-up but as it gets to the white nike on the medial side you can see those designs on the Nike sign. So it's pretty cool, it's not only functional, but it adds a really cool look to the shoe against the mesh upper as well. Now, as far as branding's concerned, you have a Nike sign on the lateral side, a Nike sign on the medial side, and then on the tongue, which is a, a mesh tongue, it has the word trout running down uh, the, the top of the tongue, which is cool. It stands out because it's white on top of this black uh, material on the upper. And then branding on the inside of the shoe, the insole has number 27, and then it has Mike Trout's signature on the other shoe, which is cool too. Inside the collar, it's very padded, and I like how they added this red uh, color where you're basically your Achilles would be resting in on the shoe so it adds another pop of color to go with that red in the heel as well as where those Achilles pillows are going to be for the added cushioning. So as far as sizing is concerned, the shoe fits true to size, length, 
they are kind of narrow um, as you get into the forefoot. So I would, if you're a wide footer, I would go half a size up minimum. Uh, maybe a full size depending on um, how wide your foot is. The retail is 120 on these. Um, there is another colorway, it's a white colorway, which is really cool, white and silver, um, with that red unit on the, in the heel. Really cool shoe, I'm excited to try these out in the gym, man. I think these are gonna really, really be good shoes, performing shoes. With that being said, man, I don't really do this, but when I do, you know what I do. I shoot with you. I'm out of here. Peace.